you want to sleep, just to sleep. Whenever you are trying to sleep, ask yourself, now you have to sleep. Because, not because you are tired. If you are tired and then you go to sleep, you see, those children who are tired, they cannot sleep for some time, they will cry. And when they have cried and they are tired, then they go to sleep. They are not sleeping because their body is tired. They are sleeping because they have wept so much that they cried so much that they are tired. You should learn to understand this point. You don't get sleep because your body is tired. You feel restless. You have nightmares. No, decide that today I will sleep. In the morning I have to do this work. At 3 o'clock I have to sit in meditation. At 2.30 I have to do this. Oh, my night will be wasted. In the morning people will see. I have to share my time with the people because I am a human being. I am a member of a society. I am a teacher. I am a student. I have to do this. I cannot deny others. I will be not paying attention towards my work if I am not rested. I have to take deep rest. If hypnosis uses this as a suggestion, it is called auto-suggestion. But if it used by yogi, it is called Sankalp Shakti. Sankalp Shakti is built with this. Before going to bed, you ask yourself, what have I done whole day? If you are coward, you will not do it because you know you have been not doing things the way you want and the way you understand according to your convictions. You will have to face all that sooner or later. Before going to bed, ask your accountant within you to furnish the account. Clearly, the accountant is not afraid of you. We'll tell him, okay, tomorrow in the morning, when my day starts, I will not repeat this no matter what happens. At least one day I will see. For this, you decide there. I will do it. I can do it. I have to do it, and I am going to do it. This will build your de determination. Those children who are afraid of darkness, who are afraid of going out, who are afraid of playing with other children, the wife who is afraid of her husband's, snobbishness, the man who is afraid of his wife's nagging, they all can practice this. No matter what happens tomorrow, I will be not disturbed in any way. When I left the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Delight, my Himalayas, where I was born and brought up, I cry long. But this, then this is attached. Even in my meditation, I first think of highest peak, go to Gangotri and then meditate. You see? So what I mean to say, when you go to sleep, prepare yourself for next day. Your rest should be for next day. Your rest should not depend on because you are tired. It is not necessary for you to be tired to sleep. It is not necessary for you to sleep conventionally. Because it's 10 o'clock, I have to sleep. Come on, children, go to bed. You have to sleep, you have to wake up in the morning, as you say. That's good training. But you don't train yourself like that way. Punctually at 10 o'clock, I'll sleep. Why do you not sleep? Why should you take three minutes or four minutes to sleep? You see, it means you have not decided. Your decision plays important part. During your decision, all different modifications of mind get together, create a willpower for you. That which is called volition, willpower, is not any separate apparatus within you. 
when you are fully one pointed that creates will power if you are not one pointed if you are dissipated if you are scattered if your mind flies from one part to another one place to another there you don't have will many of the writers don't understand use the will power again and again the reader doesn't understand what that will power means they think that there is something separate will power apart from mind first thing that you have to learn before going to bed decide that which you think should not be done don't do it but then you are the door tell yourself i am not going to do it today now that part which has been helping you to do motivating you to do will come forward but it's good i am why do you tell me not to do it because mind is a magician it speaks both sides if you have committed a theft and if you are not caught you are very happy but you know that you have committed theft how can you be happy that impression that memory of yours goes to the basement of your mind and then you become slowly weak if somebody gives you present once you have to say thank you very much you have given me present then you feel if other person gives me another present and you become dependent on other for the present for something that you like to catch your wings useless something yogis are told not to do that don't don't spoil yourself you spoil the children by doing giving them useless thing you think you are expressing your love no you are not training them you can train your children there is one boy jason here very powerful boy my lord one day a nail was nail got into his finger on the door he did not cry other children cried everybody was here and there dr clark and dr valentine were it you don't cry the nail was taken out from his it went the other side you know because of the will power the way his mother Trained. One day, his mother fell down on the syllabus place, and I said, "Kevin, rush! Your wife has fallen down. She is senseless." Windy, windy. She said, "I am taking rest and relaxing." What? What? You fell down and relaxed? He said, "Whenever anything happens, I relax." This is attitude towards life. first thing you should write few things to remind yourself every day 